who believe in Jesus 100% for their salvation and know and believe in what he did for us. They are covered by the blood of Jesus. When you are covered by the blood of Jesus, you are made blameless in the eyes of God. And you are to keep the commandments of God. When you keep the commandments of God, you are doing the will of God. And when you believe in Jesus Christ, you are doing the will of God. So why would we go through the great tribulation when we are covered by the blood of Jesus? That doesn't make sense, does it? No, we will be raptured because we are made blameless. We will be taken out of the way, or at the very least, surrounded by God's protection. If we are here, because we are made blameless. God does not punish people without reason. If we were to have to go through the great tribulation, then the Bible would automatically be going against itself and contradicting itself. The wicked are the ones who will go through the great tribulation. Some of them will turn from their ways and find faith in Christ and have to endure great tribulation to keep that faith. But those who are awake right now and paying attention and aren't waiting until the last minute and being stupid and fully believe in Jesus right now, they are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ and made blameless in the eyes of God and will be taken out of the way. It would make no sense for us to have to go through the great tribulation. If we are covered by the blood of Jesus, we are made blameless. Why would God put somebody who is completely innocent and without sin through a great tribulation? We are covered by the blood of Jesus. If you believe in Jesus, then you know for a fact you are made no longer a sinner. If you keep calling yourself a sinner, then you don't believe in what the blood is capable of doing, and you don't believe that it ever did that for you in the first place. If you believe in Jesus, you know that you've been made blameless in the eyes of God, covered by his blood. Do you believe in the power of the blood, or do you believe in the power of sin? Which one is it? Because defeated Jesus already defeated sin. Salvation came from him. Our good deeds are like rags covered in dirt and feces. Imagine a rag with dirt and feces on it, presenting it to God, expecting him to see it as holy and expecting a reward for it. Holy, wow. No. We are covered by his blood. We are not appointed to, to God's wrath because we believe in Jesus and we're covered by his blood made blameless. So those who think we'll have to go through the great tribulation, they don't understand the gospel at all. Those who still keep calling themselves a sinner must not have faith in what the blood of Jesus is capable of doing. That doesn't mean you're automatically perfect and better than anybody either. That's not what the blood of Jesus does to someone. The blood of Jesus doesn't make somebody think they're better than everyone. The blood of Jesus makes you love everyone so much. And you don't care if they don't like you, if they hate you. You just want to save them too, you know? It's quite, it's really quite simple, quite simple, but people really like to complicate it. If you believe in Jesus Christ and what he did for you, then why do so many people still call themselves sinners and call themselves unworthy as if the blood of Jesus is unworthy? You're calling the blood of Jesus Christ unworthy when you say you believe in him, but you still call yourself unworthy. When you believe in Jesus Christ, you're brought into the covenant of his blood making you blameless in the eyes of God. Read Hebrews chapter 10. We've been taught a certain way our whole lives, but God let us know that in the last days we would get, there would be an overflowing of information and knowledge. It's really, the gospel is really simple. But you better keep God's commandments, and they're easy to keep when you believe in Jesus. Because Jesus is the truth. You have to be willing to be corrected. You have to be completely willing to be corrected for the sake of not suffering for all eternity and for the sake of the love you have for God. It's not that hard to understand, but people love complicating it and making it seem so intimidating. Even a child could understand this. That's how God wanted it. You will not come into heaven unless you come into heaven like that of a child because you have to be reborn. Only a child can be born, not a grown adult. 
<laughs> the blood of Jesus is beautiful, man. We are not appointed to the great tribulation. That's why the last days are nothing scary. Jesus told us to rejoice. We will not have to go through the great tribulation. No. Why would God, after everything Jesus already did and how Jesus already defeated death, the grave, and sin, why would he put those who believe in him through the great tribulation when he told us we would be saved? Why would he put someone who's made blameless in his eyes through his wrath? Does that make any sense at all? No, it doesn't. It's a complete contradiction within itself. It's a catch-22 and a complete collapsing and folding in on itself. And it just ultimately, it, it, there's no logic and it's, it makes no sense. You are free and free indeed. Get ex you have every right to come to this realization and get excited. Jump around and scream, whatever you want to do. You're allowed to get happy. <laughs> this is beautiful. <laughs> Stop holding yourself back from being happy about this. Stop. Who cares if people think you're weird? Who cares? This is awesome. This is what our Lord did for us from the one true God above all. That's why they call him the highest. The blood of Jesus is all powerful. Those who believe in Jesus are then covered by his blood and made born again and are then made blameless in the eyes of God. If you believe in Jesus and the power of his blood, then how could you possibly still be a sinner in the eyes of God and still be unworthy? Unless you felt the blood of Jesus was unworthy or some demonic darkness was trying to trick you into continually thinking that. Because again, we don't fight against flesh and blood and against these pastors who may be teaching this because it's, it may be they're being manipulated too. It's the, we have to save each other, not fight each other. <clears throat> Your religion better be Jesus Christ and his blood. Not the definitions man comes up with because if you have more faith in the definitions of man, then you will be disappointed and you will regret it. Because we are prone to error by default. We're not, we, are, we are not God, but even under the blood of Jesus. That doesn't mean that we are automatically God. Jesus is the Son of God. The will of the Father is to believe in Him and keep His commandments and observe His feasts. God's not saying you have to be perfect or you're going to go to hell. But he is saying you need to at least be a decent human being. Good Lord. Some people make that... So a lot of people my age make that seem like it's so horrible of God to ask that. How gross it is to think that. A lot of people think it's unfair when God calls things an abomination. Well, I'll tell you this. Considering how the Ten Commandments are completely logical. And they make perfect sense. For instance... Keeping the Sabbath day holy, Saturday. Resting once a day each week and worshiping God. If you never rest, you'll get burnt out. You'll have no actual fire for God anymore. And you'll just be dull and lukewarm. If you never take a break. The blood of Jesus makes you blameless in the eyes of God. It doesn't mean you believe in Jesus, but you're still a sinner. He, we used to be sinners. That's why we needed him. If we weren't sinners, we wouldn't get to believe in Jesus because he didn't come to save those who are righteous. He came to save the sick, which are the sinners, which was everyone who used to be a sinner, but then believed in Jesus. If you believe in Jesus, then that means you're made blameless in the eyes of God. Read your Bible. I'm not sitting here making this up. You are made. Read Hebrews chapter 10. It is unhealthy and it's really very risky and dangerous to call yourself a sinner while also believing in Jesus because you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit. What happens to those who blaspheme the Holy Spirit? God says that doesn't get forgiven. So, when you believe in Jesus Christ and you believe in his blood, yes. then you know for a fact that you are made blameless in the eyes of God. 
If you believe in the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, then you ought to believe that by believing in him, you are made blameless in the eyes of God. But Jesus also made it perfectly clear. Those of you who think you can believe in this and then go sin on purpose and get away with it, your sin offering is taken. There's no more for you. You're done. God is not stupid and he will not be mocked. He is not some uh, tyrannical authoritarian, authoritarian like the government, for instance. The blood of Jesus makes you blameless. If you believe in Jesus, but you still call yourself a sinner, then you must not think that the blood of Jesus has the power to save you from your sin then. If you believe in Jesus, but you're still apparently a sinner in your eyes, then you don't believe that Jesus even did what he did. You contradict your own belief. This is the fact. And people are going to have to wake up real soon. Maranatha.